Did y'all see this this morning? Mm. Let, me, let me share with you this headline. New York Post. Get ready. DOJ demands prison time for Ashley Biden diary thief. Yeah. So the Justice Department has asked a New York district judge to sentence the woman who they claim stole first daughter Ashley Biden's diary to four to ten months in prison for the crime. What? Is it stealing, though? They want prosecutors for U.S. US Attorney's Office. They want they wanted a, initially a sentence of six months of home confinement, three years of supervised release for Amy Harris, who pled guilty in August. She conspired to commit interstate transportation of stolen property in connection with diary theft. Diary theft is a felony, don't you know? You thou can't steal a diary. This is this woman is my age. She is my age years old. Get your life together, Ash. Oh my gosh. She's she left her weirdo diary in a flop house. That's how it was initially reported. She left it behind in a dirty mattress at a flop house. Maybe it wasn't dirty. You know, I'm just, you know, still. And apparently this lady got it and then it went from there, right? <sighs> But it's not, how is this like a felony to the point of you get 10 months in prison? The same people who told you, who told you that the laptop wasn't real, told you that the diary wasn't real. I talked to my, I talked to James O'Keefe about this. I've known James for a long time when he was in South Lake at a fundraiser where, where I live. And, um, we had this conversation and he was like, this woman just, you know, offered it to us. And he was the one, they like reached out to law enforcement because they thought oh wow this is really real and there's there was like stories of sexual abuse in this this is where president daddy showers the name comes from she literally writes in her diary about how she when she was what 13 years old she was showering with her dad guys that's weird maybe that's why hunter's so messed up i don't know this is weird i we're not making this up she she wrote this she wrote these things in her own hand and then there's video of her audio of her audio sound by 17 she admits in a recording that it's her diary. Listen to this. Hi, is this Ashley Biden? This is she. How are you? I'm doing well. Yeah, I just wanted to, so I heard you have um, a few of my belongings. Um, and so I was going to ask if, it would, if you could please meet my friend, Eric, who is down in Del Rey. If you could meet him and get, and get this up to him. There's, there's a, a diary here. It starts in January. It says, January, at the end of a New York month, I'm sitting on a bed uh, at the I building. Yeah, so if you could just give everything that you have um, to Eric, that would be really um, uh, great. I don't want to give this to, to the wrong person. I mean, I want to make uh, sure... At this, is th- at this point, and I don't mean to... I, I don't want to have to get Secret Service involved in this, right? Because it's just it's, it's a whole process. Mm-hmm. Um, but, you know, I, I am Ashley Biden. It is my stuff. So if you could just skip all of that over, I would really appreciate it. I know you sent a picture to my husband with a camera <clears throat> and mm-hmm. a few other things that are mine as well. So mm-hmm. that would be really great. Where is a good place uh, for him to meet you? There's also this bag with luggage tags on it. Uh, for, and so is that bag, because there's, there's all this stuff, is that bag yours too, Ashley? Yeah, it is. So she's it's her. She says that that's her that's her her diary. And in her diary, she writes in pages 67 68, quote, "I was so I was so I was so afraid of him coming into the shower with me that I waited until late at night to take a shower." That's when she was 16. Uh there is another page where she asked uh, hypersexualized at a young age. What does this do to? Was I molested? I think so. I can't remember specifics, but I do remember trauma. I remember not liking the Wool's ex house. I remember somewhat being sexualized with Caroline. I remember, uh, she's talking about friends at a young age, showers with my dad, probably not appropriate, uh, being touched when I wasn't supposed to be. This was all the stuff that she was like writing in her diary. And 
then Snopes was like, no, there's no evidence that she said she feared her dad was like, and then like side by side comparison. Snopes was saying there was no evidence. And then here's literally the handwritten diary. And people were saying uh, one of the one of the examples or one of the excuses the left was giving is, oh, well, it was probably forged. Do you mean forged in the middle of the diary in her exact handwriting as all the other stuff in the diary? Shut up. That's so lame. This is the stuff that she wrote in her diary. This is so goofy. And she left it behind in a flop house. And so they're not they're not they're not concerned about going after the person who she's talking about. They're apparently they want to go after the person who found her diary didn't and didn't steal it. When you leave it behind, you you abandon it. You you don't. You, no one stole it from her. She left it just like no one stole Hunter Biden's laptop. He left that. He left that at the repair office. No one stole it. These people are ridiculous. So they are arguing that it's her diary and that apparently there's got to be some kind of prison time for this person. This this uh, Amy person that they said stole this, who didn't actually steal the diary. Remember how they said, Amy Harris is her name. Remember how they said that this, that it wasn't her diary and they were acting like it was a no big, no big thing. Why does she have to get the secret service involved is what I'm curious about. Why does she feel like she has to threaten to get the secret service involved? You're a drug addicted 40 something year old woman who does not have her life together and is leaving, you know, very personal items like your flipping diary and a mattress. Why do you, that's your responsibility why is it that the Bidens don't have any kids that are not liabilities? Every single one of these kids have exposed these two. At some point, the common denominator here is Joe and Jill's parenting. You have two kids who are drug addicted. Two kids who like to share way too much, whether it's video diary or written diary. They can't keep track of their belongings. They think everything that they leave or everything that they do or every situation in which they put themselves is somehow the, the, the fault of everybody else. Everyone else did this to them. So this woman who found this diary because this drug addict first daughter left it behind, they're threatening her with jail? Why don't you talk to the president of the United States who's being named as taking showers with his teenage minor daughter? Why don't you talk to him? Or maybe have a talk with your 40-something-year-old daughter who apparently doesn't hold a steady job and can't stay off dope. Maybe talk with her. Maybe Joe and Jill should have curbed their ambitions for elected office just a little bit and raised their damn family. Maybe they should have raised their kids instead of trying to raise his profile. Maybe they should have raised their kids instead of trying to raise their chances of getting into the White House. No wonder the country looks the way it does right now. Have you seen their home? Have you seen their family? And yes, it is absolutely fair. When you sign up to run for the highest office in the land, by God, you're going to be judged by every measure available and how strong a, as, a, as a father figure you are, how good of a parent you are, because if you can't keep your kids in line, how do we expect you to keep anybody else in line? Get real. They don't set clearly. They don't enforce anything at home. They don't set boundaries at home. So that's why you don't see anything forced at large in the United States or anything enforced here. Good grief, their dogs couldn't even stop biting people. This is, it, this is ridiculous. But doesn't it seem that way? Why doesn't, why, Democrats apparently don't want to have that conversation. When you see kids that turn out this way, up until a certain point, it's the kid's fault, right? The child chooses especially when they're 40-something years old. They choose their path in life. But don't you think it's weird that, I, and I don't know, maybe we would have known something about this with Bo. Who knows? They kept that all under wraps until Joe was running for the White House. But it's kind of odd that you have all, you know, there are kids that are all dealing with this situation, right? And the fact that Bo's widow, like, had this relationship with Hunter, and was like as depraved as he was to an extent makes me, does make me wonder about Poe's character. I mean, I would wager that they were all like this. So then you have to ask, what's the common denominator here? It's the parenting. 